Are flat tappet cams and lifters really soft? On today's episode, we'll find out. So today we got six or eight cams, all flat tappet. Uh, all of them are hydraulic from various manufacturers. And we're gonna test the hardness on all of them. And we've got several lifters. We're gonna check the hardness on lifters and try to shed some kind of light on what's going on with all these cam failures. But one thing that I hear all the time is is China cam cores, China cam cores. There, th th there may be some, but all of the cam grinders that I've seen any cams from, all the cores come from CWC Textron in Michigan. And how you can know that is you will see you will see their logo CWC cast into the spool and every one of these cams are all american made and i haven't seen one any other way so so we can kind of dispel that myth but <clears throat> this is a used mid 80s chevrolet core takeout from an engine we tore down and i it, it had got a little rusty i run it through the evapo rust tank just to get the rust off so we're going to start with this one and then we'll work our way through. We got some race stuff. I think we got one from comp or two from comp, a couple of my cams, one from another manufacturer that I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but it died. It, it eat up half the lobes on the cam. And so if there's one going to be soft, it'll be that one. So we'll check all of these. We're going to check some lifters. We're going to give you a close up at a Rockwell tester so you can see what the hardness is. And uh, so let's get after it. So we'll start with the Chevrolet cam, the factory cam. Takes it just a second to get its reading. So that cam is 46. So it's 46 Rockwell on the C scale, which is, I mean, that's that's pretty normal. That's what we see on most stuff. CWC, right there. We'll check it. This is this this cam was this cam was manufactured. I don't know early this year, probably. So it was cast, you know, late last year or early this year, and uh, it it killed a couple of lobes. That's one of our Thunder Bomber cams that had uh they had some some fuel issues and spun it over for half a day, so they wiped all the all the lube off. So we'll see what it says. So it's 50, 53. So, I mean, that's really good. It 
So this is a comp. It's just some kind of low lift rule deal. Uh, CWC right there. And this cam doesn't have any problems. And you can see, uh, especially a cam that's been used, if you look, you can see the line. So you can see it's high over here. So that's the taper pushing it to the back of the engine. And that makes the lifter rotate. And so taper is a big deal. Uh, we don't see too many taper issues, but, but when you pull a used cam out and you see that and it's consistent down the cam, you know that the taper, the lobe was ground correctly with the, with the right amount of taper. And so that one's 53 also. Yeah, and this is a, uh, I'll show you another designation. So if you see right here, if you can see that 55, so this is a P55 core, which is supposed to be 55 Rockwell hardness. And you've seen it was 53. So, I mean, it's, it's right on point. And, and pretty much that, that's the core that everybody uses on you know high lift high stress performance stuff in a flat tappet cam this cam right here is a fe forward again you can see the taper the taper looks good nothing wrong with the cam the customer will just freshen in a motor and we're changing the cam going to something a little different you can see CWC right there, but this one was ground by comp and, uh, but it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it and I'm sure it'll test fine. Yeah, and it's sitting right on 50. So, from what I've seen, anything over 45 is, is, is pretty good. And like I say, that cam, I mean, that cam is 10 plus years old, at least. And so, this is another customer this guy at a big block Buick and he's put three of these in and they've all died on break in. And, and you can see, I mean, you can see it's ugly. And it's probably got half the lobes gone. I mean, look at that, look at that puppy. But one thing you don't see, if you look at it, you don't see that wire line you don't see that taper. And I mic this cam and it has absolutely zero load taper. Zero measurable, I mean, it might be two or three tenths, but it should have probably two thousandths across the lobe and it has zero and it's dead. So if the lifter don't turn, it's not gonna live long. Let's see how hard it is.
I think I'm gonna check a lobe that's that's bad too, and just see how the heat from from chewing up the lobe affected the rock wool hardness. All right, so that cam's 55, so that lobe is is definitely good. <clears throat> Right on the edge, just kind of tough to get to it. Now this is a bad load, it's been chewed up. Yeah, and it's 47. So it's, it's a little softer. So the heat, I'm sure the heat done it. And, you know, it, it was hard on day one, just the heat got to it. So that's another thing, when the, when the damage starts, it's not gonna stop just because the heat is making the problem even worse. <clears throat> so now, this is a Delphi lifter out of the same engine that the mid eighties cam core come out of. We're going to check it for hardness. This is a brand new China eBay special hydraulic lifter set. I think they were $45 or something. I mean, it's just super cheap. And this is a, unfortunately an import lifter that we sell with a hard foot, a stellite foot, and we've had really good success with them. And we'll check all three of these. And I had, so I don't have them anymore, but I had some uh, solid, you know, $300 a set, oil hole lifters, but they're all gone, but I checked those too. And actually they were the softest out of the pile. The, the most expensive ones were the softest. But we're gonna check these and see what they say. So we'll start with the factory GM. All right, so that lifter is 58. All right, we'll do our import lifter that we sell with the hard foot like the Delphi. And it is dead on 58 also. And then the China eBay. And that one's just right at 58. It's not quite 58. And I got one more. I got a, I got a milling. So I, I think this is a milling. Uh, it's brand new. 
customer put it in and the hydraulic unit was ticking, probably had trash or something in it. So we sold him one lifter. And uh, so this one has got literally five minutes of runtime on it, but no, there's no issue other than it was ticking. The, the, the check valve was, was stuck. So we'll check it. And this is old too. This is probably six or seven years old. I just have it laying around. Just we'll check it. And that one's 52, so it's the softest of the pile. But again, it didn't run long enough to know if it was gonna have any problems. But still, 50s, anything over 50 should be fine. And the same thing with the cams. I mean, we see stuff high 40s up, and we just rarely have any problems. Load taper is a big deal, and the, the crown on the lifter and and is the the foot on the lifter perpendicular to the body and, and we regrind lifters for lots of shops and we see lifters all the time that the face is not perpendicular to the body it has a run out and, and that's the issue so those problems plus oil problems uh, create dead cams but whatever the problem is it's not hardness. Thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe. If there's any videos you want to see, stuff, tech stuff, leave it in the comments. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll try to get to it. Thank you. Have a great day.